That's it. A few more shards like that, and we'll be back in business. A single shard can breathe new life into this place. It wasn't fixed, it was unbroken. I tried to let the kit down gently. This is the bastion, all right, except no one else showed up. Shards got enough juice to spruce up any of these places. Stay absinthe is like drinking a cool breeze. Just don't go spitting needles everywhere. The city tried to use the shards to stake out the wilds. So much for that plan. used to roam the wilds, and they nested at Rothus Lagoon. Many a tale folks used to scare their children straight originated here. of beasts were going to go up from down, still looking about. These beasts, they don't like company. Can't get hasty in a place like this. Only the city's brushes knew their way around the lagoon. And they struck hard. Even the brushers learned to fear this place. They used to think that ankle gators were extinct. Well, they ain't. One of them has been living in the tall grass. Turns out Queen Anne got a hold of a shard. Ankle gators love shiny things. Can't fight Queen Anne without the proper tools. The brushers use their pikes to keep their distance around here. Now the kid can do the same.
Sharp sticks make Queen Anne nervous, so she backs off a bit. Those pin cushions have been living off the ankle gator scraps. Queenie leads the kid into some kind of twisted trap. One bad step in that tall grass and he's Queen Anne's lunch. Queen Anne can't fit down some of these narrow paths. Kid's got a mean throwing arm. The closer you get to an ankle gator's lair, the thicker the tall grass grows. Kid's gotta make a run for it. That old gator's right on his tail. Bad idea to walk in gator grass. Queenie must have scared a bunch of peckers out of hiding. Seems even stinkweeds know to stay away from the queen. Ankle gators don't much care for their young. That's why there ain't many around. Wanna know how to find an ankle gator lair? They use a kid as bait. Now she's coming for him. She's got nowhere else to go. The shard sitting in plain view. They say if you run across an ankle gator, you better keep running. She's starting to get annoyed. And now he's 
made her mad. Rest in peace, Queen Anne. That was for the brushes. It's done what needed to be done. Queen Anne's reign is over. We even got a crown jewel. All that trouble for a single shard. But you know what? It was worth it. The arsenal's complete, in case we need protection. With Pike and Repeater in hand, he's like a man come straight from the wilds. That gator's a crazy gal, but so is the gal who promised to look after her. They said Queen Anne was just a folktale. Now there's living proof she ain't. Fix a brush's pike, you just need a good length of knife bark. The Ura feared the gods. We turned them into toys, put their faces on our walls. The next shard should be farther out there in the wild. Know how Ceylandia became the richest city in the world? Two words. Point Lemain. If the wilds could ever be tamed, it was gonna happen right here. But now, the greatest outpost past the city line is nothing but a freak show. The army's triggers once had the place on lockdown. Kid might as well pick up what they left off. Blam! Just like my fighting days. Gun like that can even put the wilds in check. Point Lemain seemed better days for sure, but it ain't done. They shudders in a fit. The grand rail of Point the Main. Not only is it still there, it still works. Of course, it's no longer shipping hides and alloys and spices, but it can give the kid a lift. Just as long as he can stay clear of the trouble on the tracks. Grand 
trails all grown over with things a calamity chewed up and spat out. Things eager to take back their turf. Don't let so much as one of those things slip by. Lunkhead settled in like they own the place. Fancy footwork on the rail, what with wallflowers coughing fungus everywhere. Only one way to cure a cough like that. Place used to be closed off, but now it's split open like a rotten pineapple. Of course, the Grand Rails seem much more fighting in bygone times. Near on 50 years ago, first shots fired in the Ura Ceylandian War. Right here, that Zolf's Ura forefathers decided to mix it up. Okay, so maybe we didn't get their sign-off on the whole Grand Rail thing. That was bad. The rail must have shook the Ura to the bone down in those dens of theirs. Still got one good run in store for him, though. All the rotten wood there on the rails turned it into swamp weed central. Ever tried dancing side to side while holding your breath? While choking on swamp weed?
But then, at last, it's the end of the line. He'll be picking swamp weed out of those boots for days. Turns out he's got company up at the rail station, waiting for him. Not just another wallflower pincushion, mind you. At first he thinks it's Zulf. Turns out he's wrong. This is for you, says the man. Then wham. When the kid comes to, the man's long gone. But something else is there. The only words the kid recognizes on that parchment are for Zia. Well, what's a kid to do? He took the shard, he took the hit, and he took that note. That note cuts straight to the heart of things, don't it? It ain't too late to unlock the potential of this place. Finding gourmet ingredients ain't easy these days, but we'll take what we can get. The note says it plain. Zia, go east to learn the truth about the calamity and our people. I'll be waiting. Sincerely, Zulf. Zulf's messenger was one of his people. Wonder just how many of them survived, and what exactly Zolf told him. <laughs>